How's it going you beautiful sexy people and welcome back to this shitty YouTube channel. You guys are way too good to be here so um, thank you <laughs> for being here. So as you guys know if you've stuck around my channel long enough or even looked at my last three videos because I've got such a, a wide variety of ideas here. I sometimes make videos trying to find the dumbest texts of a certain category. And today Moochimp has challenged me to find the cringiest flirtatious text messages on the internet. And I'm Mike Fox, so challenge accepted. So if you guys haven't heard of Moochimp, it's basically like a, a flirty social media mixed with a social social media. Put into one. So not only will you find your next side chick or lover on there, but you may also find your next best mate. And if you're one of those picky, difficult people like me, there's a wide variety of different people to engage with on the platform. What I like about this app though is it has a feature called Near Me. So if I show you this now, these are all people, focus please. All these people here are local. To me. So if I wanted to find a friend nearby or a mistress, you know, without Abby knowing, I, I can. <laughs> but if you don't like anybody on the near me screen, you can just shuffle your phone and it resets with a whole lot of different people. So you're not just stuck with one page of people, you can just shuffle it up literally. A Moochimp account is literally the easiest thing to set up in the world, it takes about a minute at the most. Literally all you've got to do is link it to your Facebook page, type up a little bit about you in the about bio and you're good to go. You can go and find your new lover like that. Oh, thinking about it, you're quite good looking. Arabella, apprenticeship as an office manager. Ooh, looks like Abby's got some competition. <laughs> So go and download the app and try and find me on it. Send me a message and I'll give one of you guys a shout out in my next video. So try and send the funniest, most memorable message that you can. But without any further hesitation, let's get into the video. Hi. Hey. You look really similar to... To... Someone I used to know. Haha, <laughs> oh really? And who would that be? I'm almost 100% sure we went to school together. Remember me? I've got to be honest, I don't. I'm sorry. That's weird because I'm sure we had chemistry. Jesus Christ. That's a good one. Well done. You've charmed me. Haha. <laughs> I don't say this often, but I'm pretty sure you two are meant for each other. You've broke the ice now. You want to meet up sometime soon? I need to meet some new people. Seriously though? How has he got a girl by sending that? How? how? Do you know how long it took me to get Abby to reply back to my DM? Six months. Six months. He just says, oh, we were at school together, didn't we? When they did it. Oh shit. Hey beautiful. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Roses are red, violets are blue. Fucking <sighs> poems put me to sleep, Jesus. I'm never happy unless I'm with you. <laughs> what? I've never met you, but thank you, you seem nice. You seem nice too. Now drop your knickers and call me daddy. Bloody hell! That accelerated a little bit too quickly. You can't go in the same sentence. You seem nice too. Too. Drop your knickers and call me daddy. No thank you. I'll drop this convo and phone the police. Creep. Good on you. Good, good on you. Well done. Gold star for you. No, oh my god, please, don't. I was only joking. Serves you right for being a creepy mother creeper. If you're a single boy or a single girl for that matter and you're out there trying to find your next potential love, don't take any tips from this. Actually, no, do take tips from it, but take the tips as in don't do them. That's the only tip you should take. Hey. Hey. What kind of guy are you looking to meet? Mm, I guess someone who isn't boring, good looking and cares. Oh, so it's okay for a girl to say that they look for good looking people. If I put that online, I'd get bollocked. For fuck's sake. I was hoping you say someone desperate. I'm going to send out some more chat requests. Thanks anyway. I'm sure you're great. Oh, honestly, I'll disappoint you. I'm sorry. Bye. I'm going to block you now. It's for the best. You cock blocked yourself. You. Oh, 
I've got no words. How are you so bad at flirting that you at Bloody hell. Comment down below the weirdest chat up line that you've ever received. And I'll pin one of you guys' top comment. Hey mum, what's for lunch? In between chicken and penis butt and jelly. It's a hard, it's, it's a very hard decision there. Pardon the pun. Chicken or penis butt and jelly. What would you pick? Hmm. For some reason, uh, I'm leaning towards the chicken. Okay, sounds good. Because I think we're running out of penis butt. Just go to aisle seven in Tesco's, you know, next to the confectionery aisle. They always sell penis butt. Oh my fucking god, peanut butter and jelly. What, why did you not say anything about that? I thought you were being serious. What I want to know is why the two options are completely weird and separated. Peanut butter and jelly, chicken. What the fuck? Who's your crush? I'm chatting with her now. Oh my god, I like you too! No, I meant I was chatting to her on Facebook. Ouch. Ouch. That's slightly awkward, isn't it? Yeah. Slightly awkward. Can you believe there's going to be seven planets soon? Excuse me? Yeah, after I destroy Uranus! <laughs> Banta! Banta! Fucking banter. Bye, Felicia. Your name's Felicia, and you're a guy. That's why you're acting out, mate. I understand. You've probably got some mad childhood problems. If I had a dollar for every time I think of you. No, don't. I would have one dollar. <sighs> Angry face. Because you never leave my mind. <laughs> but, um, Pick up line fight! I'm an astronaut, and my next mission is to explore Uranus. A snake bit me in the penis. Quick, suck the poison out. Pop, 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 pop. I win. Buy me ice cream. You're a kid. Wrong your. Y-O-U-R. It's meant to be Y-O-U. Dash. No, not dash. Apostrophe. R-E. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. I corrected you. That's what all of you guys look like that comment down below. J just so you know, it looks stupid, so stop. <laughs> wow, but I know all 21 letters in the alphabet. I thought there were 26. That's why there was 26. Oh yeah, I always forget. U, R, A, Q, and T. It's a weird selection of, of letters to forget. Why? How could you forget A? It's like the first letter of the alphabet. No, it's not like the first letter of the alphabet, mate. It is the A. It is the A. Fucking amazing, Michael. Brilliant. It is the first letter of the alphabet. I've never heard a kid go B, C, D, E. Like, no. Everybody knows A. Come on. Oh, wait. Haha, ha. I just ruined that pickup line. Haha, ha. what pickup line? Haha, ha. wow. Oops, lol. What pickup line? U R A Q T. U R A Q. Wow, well, I'm fucking slow, aren't I? Amazing. I need help with a math problem. Help! Sure, anything. What is it? How would you simplify 2i? Sidewards V6 U. Easy! I love you! Ah! Oh, I love you too! Wow. Is this how intelligence people, intelligence people, fucking, Michael, you're on one today, mate, ain't you? Is this how smart people just speak to each other, like, coax each other into fakely saying I love you over text by putting together some mathematical equation of bullshit? I mean, if it, if it floats your boat, good on ya. But I'll never understand you. So, oh well. Just a brilliant. Did you just fart? Because you just blew me away. Haha, <laughs> are you a magnet? Because I'm attracted to you. Did you get a ticket? Because I see fine all over you. If you were a booger, I'd pick you first. Are your legs tired? Because you've been running through my mind all day. Are you the sun? Because without you, I wouldn't see any light. <laughs> Damn, girl. Are you my appendix? Because I don't understand how you work, but this feeling in my stomach makes me want to take you out. 
I'm not an appendicitis or append appendroductor, or whatever they're called. But I don't fully understand the whole mechanism behind the appendix. But I'm pretty sure if you're in pain or uncomfortable, you should probably go to the doctors, mate. You know, don't, don't take it from me, just a simple YouTuber, but <laughs> you should. So I heard you like hard boys. Hard boys. Hard boys, Michael. Fucking hard boys. So I heard you like bad boys. Yeah. Well, I'm not trying to impress you or anything, but um, I can swim without floaties. I mean, don't mess with this geezer, Nick. Fucking Nick. Because he'll tear your brains up, mate. He'll leave you splattered on the floor, Nick will. Just make sure you don't go into water with him. You know, he, he don't need his floaties. Fuck, I can't.